Okay, so, um, let's see now. Dum dum dum. Um, I'm gonna have to set this up, of course, so, hmm, I've never done this before, so I may need to go and do some research. But uh, there's the liquid transposer, obviously we're gonna need one downstairs as well, so that's why I've got another one in me, hot bar. Um, so what we need to worry about now is making this tesseract, it's gonna be interesting, I've never done this kind of thing before. I've never made a tesseract, so, you know, forgive me if I balls it up or do something wrong, but it should be fairly straightforward. So let's see, first thing we're going to need is a diamond, some tin, oh no, 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 sorry, hardened glass is what we want first, so we're going to need a pulverised obsidian and our lead ingots, so we've got a whole pile of lead ingots right there, and we're going to pulverise some of this, let's say half of that up, and what I can do I can stop it from going into here if I just change that input to off. I can just straight up pulverize it and I'm gonna go and switch my machines on down here. So we've got plenty of power. Bloody endermen. What is it with them coming down here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Son of a bitch. Where'd he go? God damn that did some there. Damage, didn't it? I've got disconjunction on this sword, so yeah, that's pretty good. Right, anyway, he'll turn up. He will turn up. So there's there's a pulverized obsidian. And let's get our iron. Here we go. We'll just wait for this to get going. Okay, so we have got what we need. Uh, we go over to our induction in smelter and Let's make sure, yes, there's no output there, so we should go out the back. Yes, so we put our pulverized obsidian there, and our lady gets there, and there it goes. Hopefully we should get glass. There we go, hardened glass. Awesome. So let's see, how many of those do I need? Uh, do, 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 do. Recipe. Recipe, recipe. One, two, three, four. So eight. We need eight. And we have already got eight. Awesome. We're going to let it do the last ones as well. The last two spares. I'm sure we're going to need them for something at some point. So there we are. I can now put that away. Up yonder. Whoops. Uh, that way. There we are. Um, let's see. Now, where were we up to? We need two diamonds and eight tin. So we have got, is this tin? Yes. We will grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two of those. Whoops. And here we go. So we put those like that. Those like that. And of course. Here we go. So there's our two tesseract frames my inventory is starting to get full <laughs> um, <clears throat> recipe up so now we're ready with our tesseract frame so now we have to uh, get some molten ender oh this is going to be fun uh, aha I remember what I need a magma crucible yes I was saying I need to go and do some research but I should be okay now so Magma, oh god. Crucible, there it is. There's the magma crucible. Right, easy peasy. I'm gonna just go and have a quick trip to the nether to get some nether brick because uh, I, I know I don't have any of that stuff. So I'm gonna go and get that. I'll, cut, I'll, I'll make the magma crucible and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so there's our magma crucible, usual standard. Recipe, except with nether brick, so there's that. And what we'll do is we will stick it right here. And hopefully, I have got some gold conductive pipes somewhere. Probably in here. Whoops. Yes, there's a piece. Awesome. Exactly one piece as well. So let's get that right there. And shift click. Awesome. Right. So let's switch off. Uh, that was no, it's that one. Yeah, yeah. 
that's fine. And what we need to do here is get ourselves some some of them. I've got seven. I have no idea what I'm gonna need. I got no idea. Right, so this wants to be uh, the output. This side wants to be an um, input. So Hmm. Okay, right, like I said, I don't, I've never done this before, so I'm going to need to go and do some research, and I'll be right back. Alrighty then, so, here we go. We've got uh, the magma crucible here, which is set up like this, so I've got the output on the left-hand side, of course, because my liquid transposer is on the right-hand side. Uh, and then I've got this set to receiving, um, and as you see, I've got a slight bit of... Ender pearl in there, as you can see, melted molten ender pearl. That's the one. So I just melted one just to see. So if I just chuck in my six now, you'll see. There we go. It's smelting away quite nicely, and that will go straight into this tank on the right hand side, and then immediately get sent over here. Uh, so as you can see, that's up to 500. Now I need to fill this thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is going to take a lot of pearls. So this is what I was saying about resources. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transmute most of my iron, I can assume, um, to see how much I can get out of it. It's filling up quite nicely from just six. So I think it was a seven. Seven I had total? I think I had seven. Uh, so let's see how much we get out of seven. Do, 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 do. And it's draining my power quite a lot. But it should be okay because my power is only powering this at the moment. So there we are. Now we've got 1500 out of 7. So not bad. Right, so I'm going to go right ahead and I will transmute, say, three stacks. I mean, I've got to fill two of these. So let's see how we get on with this. Um, I'll crunch the numbers off screen and. I'll work out. Oh, what was the recipe now for pearls? And the pearls recipe. Ah, that was it, yes. So it is going to take a lot of iron. A lot, a lot of iron. Alright, so I'll be back with you once I've uh, transmuted this lot. Right, so that's my transmutation done. Um, this is going to take a while. So I'm just going to leave this to melt this lot down and uh, obviously again I'll get back to you when it's done. I might even just drop one of these in now. See if it'll actually transfer across. Ooh, it's disappeared. Hopefully that's just a graphical bug. Yes. But it seems to be transferring across into the Tesseract so that's good. Alright guys, I'll be back with you when this is all done. Right, so you can see how bloody newbie I am at this, because I've never done it before. Um, I didn't actually need a full one, so I'm actually going to stop uh, doing that, melting down all these ender pearls, and uh, yeah, that filled up pretty much straight away, so let's do the next one, take that out. I, I have no idea, like I told you, I've never done this before, and uh, reading through a wiki is kind of sketchy, you know, um, I didn't really have time to watch videos. So there, it's got a bit of a graphical bug, it's probably because of my texture pack that's doing that. Um, but as soon as that's filled up, obviously, it's not taking that much out of there. Uh, we'll end up with a, another another filled, unattuned tesseract. Unattuned tesseract. There we go. Get pronunciation correct, because I know how much you all rage when I pronounce things wrong. Uh, let's see, where were they from? So at least I've got a nice stockpile of ender pearls now. It's not too bad. I mean, I've got plenty of iron, so I'm not too worried about that. And if I really needed to, I can transmute some gold and get a whole load of uh, iron out of that. So there we go. Well, there's our two unattuned tesseracts, and we've still got a bit of uh, melted magma. Ah, I forget what it's called now. Anyway, melted bloody ender eye, whatever. <laughs> Uh, tesseract, so liquid tesseract. So we're on the home run now. 
uh, we just need some tin, copper, and a couple of these muna uh, pneumatic, there we go, pneumatic servos, which are really easy to make. So let's get that done. Here we have it, is the first one. So it's actually silver at the top, and tin at the bottom. Sorry about that, I said it was all tin, but it's not. So here's one, and here is the next one. So where's my tin at the bottom? Silver at the top. That zombie's doing my head in. And there's our second tesseract. Awesome. So now we can do some really funky stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sort my bags out because they're just full of all sorts of junk. And, uh, and then we'll go and set up the tesseracts. So back in a moment. Okay, bags are sorted. Mission to the nether is now on. And hopefully everything's all still set up. Yes, there's my port hole and we're in. Okay, so, uh, yesterday I actually came in and removed the other items. So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna just take that one away. And we're gonna put the liquid tesseract right there. And we need to set up the frequency of this thing now. So I'm gonna set it to 11 and click set frequency. And that is that is done. Now, obviously, I haven't got a world anchor, but we'll worry about that in in a little while. Uh, first, I just want to get this thing set up. So, this is much neater. Pump straight into the liquid tesseract. So now we head back home, and we will go straight to the basement with our other tesseract. Whoops! There we go. And we're going to put the tesseract. I think we're going to stick it in the wall, actually, just out of the way. There we are. I think we can transfer that. There we are. We'll put the Tesseract in there. Pipe right there. And I've got some tanks. First, I want to set up the frequency. So, frequency is 11. And there comes the lava. So, let's get our tanks in. And there's a little bit of lava in there. I don't know... I don't know if the world's staying loaded. It probably isn't. But yeah, we need to worry about that at some point. But there we go. We are on a roll. So what we can do now is in... Whoops. All the wrong buttons again. In here, I have my magmatic engines, my liquid transposer. Uh, we've got some golden waterproof pipe, which we're going to need. We're going to need the wooden transport pipes. We'll take those as well. Put that in order. We're going to need that. Um, yeah, let's get this done. Okay, this is exciting stuff. 